This week on the Long Term Tackle Review we're going to be taking an in-depth look at ESP's Big Pit Reel, the Onyx, and we'll be getting into a bit of detail about some of the features and how I feel it stacks up to the price point that it's currently available at. Onyx really is a good bit of kit for the money in my opinion. Comes in at around 130 odd pounds thereabouts for the Big Pit model. They also do a compact version, but this week we're just going to be looking at the Big Pit. Um, so we'll start off, it's got super slow oscillation, which means in layman's term it goes up and down really slowly. And what advantage is that is it gives you a super smooth line lay. So it's really, really tightly packed, and that will help you put yards on your cast as the line will just picks off really easily rather than some of the other reels on the market um, hasn't got that and it goes up and down you get kind of jaggedy lines when you look at the line lay on your reels um, you won't get that with this it's super super smooth uh, it comes with two different drags on the top I've got it with a rapid lockdown I haven't really used the fine drag and um, the difference being the rapid lockdown as you can see now that is completely locked and then if you give it half a turn pretty much just nice and loose and you give it another half a turn and that's complete free running so one turn and you're fully locked up um, but in between that you've got quite nice fine adjustment I mean you can swap it over to the fine um, uh, drag system that comes with the top you just swap the top caps over but I found this to work absolutely perfect for everything I need I, I haven't really needed that for car fishing or adjusting it even more um, yeah, it's a really nice reel, it's really well built, rock solid, and I suppose this is where you're going to find the difference between this kind of reel and your higher price reels, uh, mainly in the weight. It is quite a heavy reel, um, but to be honest, uh, I, I don't have super high end rods that are really light anyway. Um, I tend to be fishing generally up to 100, 120 yards max really, with the kind of venues I fish at, and I don't find any problem having the weight of this reel at all. It's not much heavier than, say, um, my other set of reels I've got at the Tournament 5000s. Um, they are slightly lighter, but they're also a smaller reel. They don't have the big pit style um, spools on the top, so they're not really exactly the same style reels. And yeah, these are heavier, but I don't notice it when I'm casting or playing fish or anything. The weight of a reel really doesn't bother me. Um, it certainly doesn't bother me enough to want to spend £200 more a reel to get something like a Bazier. Um, because you know they're like 350, 450. I don't even know how much they are these days. 500 a reel. Um, these are 130 pound a reel. So you're saving a hell of a lot of money. Uh, all right, the, everything else on a base is going to be a lot more quality than this. But this is a rock solid reel. It's going to last you. Um, and for the average angler, I mean, this is more than good enough. I mean, I've been using these a lot, and they're still in really, really good condition. Uh, the drag's really nice and smooth when you're playing fish. Um, it's got a nice wooden handle if you like to be a tackle tart. The, the uh, handles fold in if you really, really are a tackle tart. Uh, um, yeah, they're just, yeah, they're a really nice reel. They come with two spools, so you get two different shallow spools, which is a really nice touch because um, they're designed for different uh, thicknesses, diameters of line. So, um, this one will hold 300 meters of 15 pound line from ESP based on their synchro. Um, what that means is you buy a thousand meter box ball from them, it will do all three reels and you know you're going to have enough space. Um, you don't have to use back in or faff around with any of that. And the other spool that comes with it will do 300 meters of their 12 pound line. Um, so, it's a really nice touch to have those two different spools, two different thicknesses. Um, that works out really nicely. So, yeah. Uh, just a quick look at the Onyx. I'm really impressed with them so far. Um, definitely going to keep using them. Um, my tawnies need a good service anyway. They're in a bit of a state, to be quite honest with you. Um, as much as I love those, uh, I'm going to be keeping these on for a lot longer just to give them a real um, good battering. But yeah, uh, definitely worth a check out. If you're worried about um, maybe how long they'll last for the money or maybe even just you've seen online that the main complaint is the weight of them, but I really can't say it bothers me in the slightest how much these things weigh, um, but each their own, you know. If I could afford a set of Baziers, yeah, I'd probably buy a set of Baziers, but um, the fact that I, I can't kind of be dropping um, a grand and a half on a set of reels or whatever, 
Um, these are these are more than good enough. Uh, you won't have any issues with these for your day-to-day -day car fishing. So hopefully that's given you a bit of insight into the Onyxes. Um, let me know down below in the comments what reels you're using. Have you used the Onyx? Do you, uh, do you think they're um, worth the money? Do you think they're too heavy? Or uh, what's your opinion on them and what you're using? Hope you've enjoyed this. If you have, click like and subscribe. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next video.